Consumer alert this evening over a scam spreading across the country. Some families believing they've won the publisher's clearinghouse sweepstakes, even though that contest is not involved at all. ABC senior justice correspondent Pierre Thomas taking us inside the scheme. Scammers promising a treasure chest of sweepstakes and lottery winnings and then stealing more than $1 billion from Americans. We all know the ants. Wouldn't it be great to win $5,000 a week for life? But now Jamaican scammers are using the good name of Publishers Clearinghouse and other major prize companies to dupe thousands of senior citizens out of their life savings. Kim Nichols says her 77-year-old father was ripped off. He received a phone call um, from someone saying that they were from Publishers Clearinghouse. They said that he won a Mercedes, a nice car, and over a million dollars. But Publishers Clearinghouse and other prize companies had nothing to do with any of this and don't notify winners by phone. Kim's father started getting a flood of phone calls from Jamaica's 876 area code with crooks impersonating government officials demanding tax money before he could get the prize. How much money did your father end up giving? He lost over $85,000. $85,000. $85,000. It's devastating. Listen to this. A sad exchange between a scammer and a woman named B who's already shelled out more than $60,000. We have to pay the tax on the check before the check could be cashed. And you kept asking for more money, more money. Last night I went to bed crying. I don't have no money. The bills are coming. I don't have any oil. I'm freezing here. It's getting cold now. You'll have to take care of the final payment, D. Just keep your trust in us now. And if the victims don't pay, the scammers are not above threats. There is nothing that these scammers won't do. They are absolutely despicable. We want to put out the red flags of warning. So how to protect yourself? If prize officials call and tell you to pay taxes before they give you the money, David, it's a scam. You always tell us the same. Pierre Thomas on it again in Washington. Pierre, thank you.